As a business owner, you may have gotten a loan in the past. You may have never have needed a loan, but regardless, you need to understand how they work and you need to change your thinking a little bit so that the loans don't destroy your company. Today, I'm gonna to show you how. Hey everyone, my name is Eddie Hood, CEO of Ignite Spot Outsourced Accounting. We coach businesses all over the country on how to get more profitable, and we do all of their accounting and bookkeeping and payroll and tax and all of that nerdy stuff. We love it, you hate it, it's a good marriage. Anyway, today we're talking about loans, how you can get the most out of your loans and make sure that they're not sinking your ship. All right guys, I'm not gonna get really technical and nerdy today. I don't want that. I don't wanna give you calculations and formulas. We could do that, that's, that's our job as your accountants. But I wanna give you a way of thinking about your loan, okay? Most people walk into a loan with the wrong mindset and that, that is what gets them into trouble. So here's what's wrong. When people get a loan, the only thing they think about is the monthly payment. They look at their budget and they say, can I make this monthly payment work? They look at that number. So let's say you're getting a $10,000 loan, right? And you're gonna pay it back in a year. Uh, and uh, let's say the monthly payments are gonna be a thousand bucks. So as the entrepreneur, you look at that thousand dollars and say, Hey, Mr. Accountant, can we afford a thousand bucks a month? And you guys push the numbers around and you budget stuff and it's kind of tight, but you make it work. And so you get the loan. And the only thing you're thinking about is the thousand dollars a month. That is wrong. That psychology, that, that, that just kind of the bite-sized chunk thing that you do when you're looking at a loan will sink your ship. It will completely ruin your company because you're not thinking of the overall financial picture. So again, I'm not going to give you a lot of, uh, you know, formulas or forecasting or anything like that right now, but just a new way of thinking. So let's go back to our loan. It's a $10,000 loan. You're going to pay uh, $1,000 a month over the course of a year. So what you need to be doing instead is saying, okay, well, I've got to pay $1,000 every month for a year. So really you're paying $12,000 for 10,000 bucks, right? So look, this isn't hard. You can do this in your head. You don't need calculators. You don't need any, you know, weird wizardry behind you. Just ask yourself this question. Am I willing to give up $2,000 right now to get $10,000? Is the problem you have so important, so necessary, so needy, that you're willing to just throw $2,000 out the door because that's what you're about to do. You need to think about that difference about the amount that you're borrowing versus the amount of total payments that you're making, right? That's it. Now, not all loans are created equal. Some are very fair and equitable and some are completely like evil, like seething, blood dripping vampire kind of loan shark evil. And they get you because they just focus on the monthly payment. Well, Bob, you know, it's only 199 bucks a month for 98 years, right? And you don't hear the 98 years, you just hear 199 bucks a month and go, we can make that work, it's, a, it's 199 bucks a month. That's it guys, it's a quick, easy psychological shift for you, but just move away from thinking about the monthly payment. You, obviously you need to be able to make that payment, so check your budget for that. But look at the entire loan and the amount you're gonna be paying in interest, and just please take a minute to think about that. I know you need the money right now, but is it really worth it? That's it guys, I hope today helped you figure out how to approach your loans. Again, no weird formulas, I'm just trying to give you some straight, uh, simple ways of thinking about this stuff. Money is important. It, it, Every penny, every dollar that passes through your fingertips affects your overall wealth as, your, uh, as an individual, as your family, and as your company. So treat every penny as though it's important. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, have fun growing your businesses and stay profitable.